Hey guys, and welcome to your general reading for Aquarius. What lessons do you need to learn? This is going to be for your December 2022. You can apply this to any of your placements, okay? So um, we're going to take a look and see what lessons you guys need to learn, and then we'll finish off the read to see um, what advice we have for you guys, what you guys need to look out for. Apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet. Hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aquarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The uh, link for that is in the description box below, all right? So tell me about Aquarius. Oh, also, a quick note that this reading is not really meant to be cross-watched, twisted, flipped, or reversed. Uh, this is a reading uh, more so for the Aquarians that are currently in the path of healing, personal growth, and spiritual growth, okay? But if you want to do that, you can feel free to do so, yeah? So tell me about Aquarius here. What lessons does Aquarius need to learn? What lessons does Aquarius need to learn for December 2022? Okay, so we have a Seven of Wands here, okay? And then a Six of Wands. Mm. With a Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands here. Seems like you're ready for new beginnings here. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is that I feel like someone here is incredibly stubborn though, okay? Um, I do feel like in certain situations, I feel like it can be helpful, you know, especially when you're strong in convictions, in your convictions here about, you know, your convictions. Um, but I feel like there is some sort of resistance here, okay? Uh, there's some sort of, uh, you know, a situation where the ego is sort of getting in your way here or pride getting in the way uh, of, you know, of you actually, because of that, it's actually hindering you from getting you where you need to be. Does that make sense? Okay. Uh, Queen of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. With a hangman here in the Fool. So Piscean energy in the Fool here, Aries energy, also Aquarius energy. So the hangman is basically about taking a step back and kind of looking at the bigger picture here for yourself. Okay. You know, this is a this is another thing I'm getting here. I, I just feel like with the Seven of Wands, there's a lack of boundaries here too. And, you know, it could be a situation that people can take advantage of you very, very easily because you are coming up as a King of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles here, okay? So, um, you know, I just feel like, you know, this could be, I mean, this is a very abundant energy and I feel like, you know, whatever is going on here, I, I do feel like there are leaky boundaries or people can be taking advantage of you here. This is so interesting. I feel like there is a stubbornness here too. Like I just feel like someone here is having a hard time listening to someone or listening to people, listening to people's opinions and accepting uh, other people's opinions here. Okay. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, we have Justice, Libra Energy. Tell me about the Ace of Wands here. And the King of Pentacles. We have the King to the Queen of Pentacles here. Okay. This could be a same-sex couple, doesn't have to be. Um, just apply this to your own unique situation. Seems like there's a new beginning here with somebody or that, you know, this could be indication that with the feminine and masculine here, there could be a really good balance between them or that there needs to be a balancing out of the masculine and the feminine here, okay? Because... You know, I feel like someone here is definitely leaning towards a certain way or leaning towards a certain energy here. Um, let's see, tell me about the hangman. We have the four of wands. Tell me about the fool. Why is the fool here? And the two of pentacles. I don't know, there's a sense of feeling lost here or sense of feeling uncertain. 
sense of not being able to achieve what you want here. I mean, I, I feel like you're definitely looking for happiness here and stability, happiness and stability here with somebody. But I feel like the lesson here is that you can't rely on others here for your happiness and your stability, you know? You have to rely, you, you have to rely on yourself for that or that you have to search for that within yourself. You have the sun and the magician here. It seems like you're trying to manifest happiness here. Because it seems like you've been through so much hurt and so much pain here. And then we have the death card here, Scorpio energy. So we have Kali Ma here. So Kali Ma is the destroyer. You know, this is a, a person or this is a god, a Hindu god, that is, you know, sort of like an agent for transformation and change. Um, let's see what else we have here for Aquarius. What advice do we have here for Aquarius? What else does Aquarius need to know? For December 2022, we have the Eight of Swords here and the Ace of Pentacles. We have three out of the four Aces. I don't know. I feel like there is also an, an energy of fearing, accepting that, uh, accepting what's good for you. I don't know. I feel like, you know, I also feel like you have a history of maybe uh, stepping into relationships or relationships where there's a lack of foundation here too, you know? And I feel like that needs to be worked on here because the foundation of, with yourself needs to be repaired here. Yeah, maybe there's a lack of relationship with yourself here. The, t the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy, the Lovers here, Gemini energy. We have the Page of Swords here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Nine of Wands. Page of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Look how this page is looking away from the Nine of Wands here. And a lot of times this is a representation of trauma and pain that someone here has never dealt with here. Okay, so the Sun and the Magician, Leo energy, the Magician, Gemini, Virgo. So the Sun and the Eight of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles and the Magician here. There's a fear of not finding happiness here. There's a fear of ha like not having what it takes to be able to find that happiness that you're looking for because I feel like you've been through a lot, like you said. Yeah, you know, I, I feel like things need to be, you know, I feel like things... You know, sometimes things need to be destroyed in order for you to, you know, kind of start all over again. So I feel like whatever transformation or change that's happening here, allow it to happen so that you can learn some big lessons here in life, you know, so that you could evolve and grow here. Okay, so the world and the King of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So I feel like there's maybe the, you know i feel like you know i feel like you could be dealing with the situation here where you're having a hard time letting go of somebody here because i feel like there's an energy of looking back or always spying on this person okay whoever this is this person has really really broken your heart i feel like what what's happened here is i feel like this person has gone out of their way to really hurt you here um sometimes that five of swords is an energy of like you know being really competitive and you know not uh, and stopping at nothing to get to where they need to be even though if, even if it means hurting somebody so we have the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles king of wands the queen of wands here true pairs here yeah so you know i do feel like you know some major endings has happened here but there's a lack of acceptance surrounding it or a lack of letting go here Okay, yeah, and also healing here with the Four of Swords, all right? So, um, so Aquarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it, if it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys, bye.